Hey y'all, so I came across a video about a young woman dating a man that she should have ran from super quick. I'm gonna tell you why in just a little bit. I'm gonna tag the original video creator um, for credit and also so that you can go and see the entire video. I just wanted to touch on um, two things. We've been talking back and forth for a few months consistently without meeting until recently because he he's admittingly very shy and insecure. Now, in my opinion, the first red flag was actually him being so straightforward with her about those insecurities. And don't get me wrong, we all have insecurities on some level, but at his level of insecurities, he's actually prepping her for his foolishness, his bullshit that comes along with his insecurities. The reason why I say that is because one, he tested her to see if she was okay with him using that as an excuse to not see her from the way she wrote it. It doesn't sound like she asked him about his insecurities, but rather he used that as a reason why they weren't seeing each other. And that is a huge problem. You need to run if you meet a man who's so forthcoming with his insecurities because he want to see how far he can get and if you are willing to be one of those i'll be your safe space and work with you through your insecurities and all that type of person while he act a fool in your life and then it starts kind of looking like how it turned out for her so run it'll be okay find somebody else girl yet a lock of hair towards the front of my head was cut very bluntly about three inches above the length of my hair if you suspect that someone is cutting your hair or you know someone is cutting your hair you need to be fasting and praying and asking the good lord above whoever you pray to to help you break that spell that that person put on you or that bond that they have created okay because you best to believe nine times out of ten they have put some kind of spell on you they're trying to work some roots some voodoo some witchcraft, some hoodoo, some something, whatever it is that people be doing with your head. It ain't good, and you need to be fasting and praying. If you don't believe in God, I don't know what to tell you, but that's the tea.